hybrid organic inorganic perovskites, one, have received much attention as potential next-generation solar cells and as materials for light-emitting devices. Kobe University's Associate Professor Takikawa Takashi, of the Molecular Photoscience Research Center, and Dr. Karimatu Izaru, previously a graduate student engaged in research at the Graduate School of Science, have succeeded in completely substituting the halide dyons of perovskite nanocrystals W. Furthermore, by using techniques such as single particle photoluminescence imaging, the researchers were able to understand the momentary changes in light emission and the crystal structure, which in turn enabled them to develop a principle for controlling ion composition. It is expected that these research results will contribute towards enabling the synthesis of perovskites of varying compositions and advancing the development of devices which utilize them. In addition, it is hoped that the flexibility of perovskite structures can be harnessed, allowing for them to be applied to devices and the creation of new functional materials. These findings were published in the German academic journal Antwant Chemie International Edition on October 19, 2020. Research background Hybrid organic inorganic perovskites, such as organic lead halide perovskites, for example, CH3NH3PBX3, X equals CL, B, R, I, have been receiving worldwide attention as a promising material for highly efficient solar cells. Furthermore, the color of the light that they emit can be controlled by altering the type and composition of the halide ions. Consequently, it is hoped that hybrid organic inorganic perovskites can be applied to light emitting devices such as displays and lasers. However, the halide ions inside the crystals are known to move around even at room temperature, and this high flexibility causes issues such as reductions in both synthesis reproducibility and device durability. Research methodology in this study, the researchers used a custom-made flow reactor, 3, to precisely control the exchange reaction between the CH3NH3B3 nanocrystals and Br ions in solution. This enabled them to successfully convert the nanocrystals into CH3NH3PBBr3 nanocrystals while maintaining their morphology and light-emitting efficiency. It is important to know what kind of reaction will occur inside the crystals in order to develop synthesis techniques. To understand this, the researchers used a fluorescence microscope to observe how each individual nanocrystal was reacting. From this observation, they understood that once the red light emitted by the CH3NH3B3 had completely disappeared. The green light originating from the CH3NH3PBBR3 was suddenly generated after an interval of tens to one hundreds of seconds. Based on the results of structural analysis using an X-ray beam, it was revealed that Br ions replaced I ions inside the crystal structure while a bromide-rich layer formed on the surface. Please support our channel to grow by pressing subscribe button as well as the bell icon for daily science updates. Thank you.